Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk about a very beautiful and popular photography style, the light and airy look. It's a technique that gives a soft, dreamy and ethereal quality to your photos. So grab your camera and let's dive right in. To achieve a light and airy look, there's a few things you need to take into consideration. First of all, lighting. Next, composition. And finally, post-processing. So let's talk about lighting first. So for lighting, I'm always looking for beautiful light. And by beautiful, I mean soft lighting where the shadows aren't too dark. What you want is for the lighting to be consistent throughout the whole scene. This type of lighting can be found on overcast days in the shade where the light is very consistent and then the shadows aren't too dark. Harsh sunlight can create strong shadows. So for the light and airy look, you want to avoid direct sunlight. Sometimes it can be hard to avoid harsh shadows, but if you do want the light and airy look, just keep an eye out or shaded areas and try to avoid that direct harsh light. You always have options where you can shoot, so make sure you look around and look for an area that is evenly lit. Regardless of the weather, I'm always looking for areas that are evenly lit so I can achieve that beautiful soft look. Another tip when you're shooting is to look for neutral colored natural reflectors. For example, this could be a white wall or it could be light colored pavement or sand that helps reflect light back onto your subject. Anything that has a light neutral color to it can help reflect light back onto your subject and reduce the amount of shadows in the image. When you're in a room, try to make sure that the walls are a light neutral color. If for example, you were in an orange room, the orange on the walls could reflect onto your subject and create an orange color cast. Another tip with lighting is to shoot with your subject being backlit. When I'm shooting outdoors, often I will turn my subject away from the sun and shoot with them backlit. This is a great tip when you're shooting midday when the sun is in a relatively high position. You just turn your subject with their back to the sun and that will create nice even lighting over their body. I will usually shoot front lit when the sun is lower in the sky and the lighting is softer. Once you've figured out your lighting, the next thing is to think about your composition. To get that light and airy look, it's a good idea to look for clean backdrops. Try to avoid spotty, patchy lighting or messy things in the background that are going to distract you. When I start shooting something, I'm always looking for a nice clean backdrop. And if there is, is stuff laying around and the room looks messy, I'll take my time before I start shooting and I'll, I'll clean up the background and move any clutter out of the frame. Sometimes this can be done by strategically adjusting your angle, or sometimes I will actually get in there and physically move furniture or move clutter out of the frame. It also helps if the subjects are lighter in color. For example, light and airy clothing can help give your images that light and airy look. The idea is to really keep the overall color palette soft and harmonious looking. The final step in creating light and airy imagery is to focus on your post-processing in a way that brightens up the image. When I'm shooting digital, I always try to slightly underexpose my images. I want to preserve any highlight detail that I want to keep in the image. Even if you shoot with RAW, you can recover some detail sometimes in post-processing, but if you lose detail, that can be very hard to recover. If there's highlight information in my image that is blowing out, I will underexpose slightly so that I can ensure that I can retain that detail in the final images. And then I'll use some techniques in my post-processing in order to brighten up the image. Post-processing is a huge topic so I will be covering that separately in next week's video, so stay tuned for that. So if you love the light and airy look like I do, it's important to make the right decisions when shooting so that when you head into the editing process, you'll have lots of information to work with and you can just polish up the images in editing. Please be sure to subscribe below and hit the bell to be notified of more videos. And I will see you next week. Bye.